This is uh, part one, question two from the February 2016 release for the pre-reg exam prototype solution. Um, uh, I'll just read it. The following hospital prescription is written for a seven-year-old child weighing 24 kilograms. Um, uh, the one translation I made or conversion factor I created was uh, reminding you what 10% really means. Uh, when you have a weight per volume, it's 10 grams per 100 mLs, so you know 20% would be 20 grams per 100 mLs, uh, and then um, 0 0.5 grams per kilogram. Uh, normally I use yellow, but for whatever reason yellow didn't come up against that gray background. Uh, the infusion rates, uh, this gets is a little bit confusing, so I left it that way, although I really don't like seeing it that way with two forward slashes. When we see a fraction, we usually, we're used to seeing a numerator over denominator. But here we have a numerator over a denominator and then another forward slash, which makes it a little confusing. But really it's 0 0.6 mLs over kilograms, and then hours is also uh, a denominator. So those are both on the bottom, and we'll see how that works when we're doing our conversions. Uh, but what we have are three times, and then when I say times, I mean that quite literally, and let me get my pointer out here. Um, I mean 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, but then an unknown, and that'll be kind of the twist at the end here that makes it a little bit tougher. Uh, but what is the total infusion duration of the immunoglobulin if it is infused at the prescribed rate? Well, we know it's 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus something, uh, and we want it to the whole minute, uh, so that'll also be part of our conversion. Uh, but the first thing to do, I think, is just say, all right, well, I know eventually I'm going to have to know how many mLs I'm infusing total, uh, and I don't really have that uh, set up right now, so let's go look at that. Right. So I have a 24 kilogram uh, seven year old child uh, and 0.5 grams per one kilogram, 100 mLs per gr 10 grams equals the mLs. And I mentioned again, I prefer to go right to left, so if I see mLs, I need a conversion factor that has mLs. Well, this one didn't have mLs, but this one does. So I put the 100 mLs over 10 grams, and then I need to get rid of this gram because the gram's not over here. So I see 0.5 grams over kilograms, and I don't see kilograms over here, so I need to get rid of it, and I get rid of 24 kilograms. So then we cross out diagonally our uh, units, uh, get rid of the kilograms, get rid of the grams, and we're left with the mLs. So the total infusion will be uh, 120 mLs. So that's a nice number to work with. And we'll see, uh, we're going to be able to figure out the infusion quantities um, for the first three, uh, but we're going to need this 120 uh, for our fourth uh, infusion quantity. So there are two ways you could do this. Um, and I mentioned this long way versus short way. Uh, the, the short way uh, is to recognize that you're going from 0.6 to 1.2 to 2.4 and you're really doubling and then doubling again. Okay? So you could really just put it over here and go 0.6 plus 1.2 plus 2.4 um, is going to end up at 4.2. Okay? Or you can go through each of them and say, okay, well this one's going to be 7.2 mLs and this one will be 14.4 and this will be 28.8. Uh, altogether, though, we end up with the same product that we're going to, um, or sum, that we're going to have 50.4 mLs. Uh, so again, if we have mLs as something that I'm looking for, I need to have my conversion factor of mLs over kilograms per hour. And as I mentioned, we have that strange uh, denominator, the one on the bottom. So we need to multiply by kilograms and by hours, because there's no hours over here in the answer. Okay, so we can do that three times uh, and get this 50.4. So if we've used 50.4 so far, if we know the total is 120 from the last uh, equation that we did, then the infusion quantity for the fourth segment is 120 mLs minus 50.4, or 69.6 mLs. Um, but, unfortunately, that's not what the question asked. Uh, the question wanted to know, um, what's the total infusion duration? So we have that one of the unknowns known now, now that we've calculated the 69.6 mLs, uh, and we can um, put, plug that in. 
So instead of having the hours here where we knew it was 0.5 of an hour with 30 minutes, we know the answer. We know it's 69.6 ml is the total amount. Uh, so what we do is we do a little bit of rearranging here and we see that um, we're going to have to move the 24 over, so 1 over 24 when you move it from the left to the right, and then again we have to move the 4 under the kilograms per hour, and then when we do this calculation eventually we come up with 0.725 hours. So I, I know you could just do 0.725 times 60, but I, I still like to do the entire uh, thing to make sure that I've got the right uh, factors. So 0.725 hours times 60 minutes over one hour makes 43.5 minutes. So we already had our 90 at the very beginning of the question. Uh, we just need to add our 43.5 minutes to get 133.5, uh, rounded to the nearest whole minute as per the question, or 134 minutes. So just one kind of caveat that uh, if you're filling in answers, it sounds like you would want to go through the entire test and make sure that every answer is done properly here because you could have just left it at 133.5 and then gone on to the next. Uh, but I want to make sure that we're attentive uh, to uh, the actual question.